Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? I'm sitting here on my couch, or laying on my couch. Um, so I wanted to give you kind of an update, health update, I guess, on what's happening with me. <laughs> so you're kind of off here. Hang on. Is that better? Yeah. So you kind of get a glimpse of my, my living room. <laughs> Not like you guys haven't seen it before. Anyway, um, okay, so I didn't get a movie marquee out, uh, video out. I'm so sorry. It, yeah. Oops. Um, so what's happening with me is <clears throat> uh, I got a call from the doctor and I found out. I got my MRI results back from my back. And <clears throat> what's happening is I had a bulging disc and a ruptured disc in my L4 and L5 in my lower back uh, for a lot of years. <clears throat> and uh, sorry, my dog's going crazy. <laughs> um, and so apparently the, the bulging disc and ruptured disc are now gone. I was like, uh, how does that happen? It can't repair itself. So what are you talking about? <clears throat> he said that basically the, I guess the other disc ruptured and I had no idea. Um, I mean, pain is pain, right? Like it's, you just kind of live with it and carry on. So now there's nothing in between my L4 and L5 and the other disc. So, <clears throat> which means now the vertebrae are on top of each other. So that's that bone on bone feeling that I've been feeling for the last year. Uh, he says it takes about two years for a, a ruptured disc to dis the, the disc to actually disintegrate. Um, so <clears throat> it's, it's been, well, I had it in 2008. So it's been a long time um, that I didn't know what was happening. So, uh, so yeah, so when I'm turning and stuff and I'm feeling that grind, yeah, it's my discs grinding together. <laughs> but um, he's sending me to a surgeon uh, in Victoria. He says, you know, the surgeon's not going to be able to do anything for you, but you can talk to him anyway. There's, he's going to send me to a pain clinic. Uh, he's talking about getting cortisol shots and all that. And I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. <clears throat> you know, I'll just live with the pain, I think. But, um, yeah, so that's what's happening. So today's a bad day. Uh we it's been bugging me for a couple of days now but it's i it's like you remember that old uh that game um uh price is right where they had the yodeling guy going up the mountain yeah that's kind of how it goes with my back it's like i'm going up the mountain my back's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and then i fall off a cliff <laughs> so yeah so i'm kind of at that building stage right now where you know, my back was doing okay, and then it wasn't, and I was going, hmm, I could feel something's happening. And then um, I worked yesterday for a couple of hours, for about four or five hours, and it was, like, not feeling great. Uh, by the time I got home, I was really feeling it. And then we had to go bowling last night uh, for our bowling league, and my back just went done I got into one game and then my back just gave out and <clears throat> so I woke up this morning like all night I couldn't sleep I was tossing and turning and tossing and turning I was in so much pain and it was weird it was like in my left hip it just feels like a muscle's caught or something's going on and so I woke up this morning and I couldn't walk very well I was all hunched over. I was getting a bad pain, like a muscle pain in the front, um, kind of by my um, hairline, you know. 
so yeah, I was like, okay, something's something's caught up, something's not right. So my chiropractor told me about something that we could do. And he told me this years ago, so we do it on and off. And it's where I lay on the bed and George does stretches with me. And then he takes a towel, wraps them around my ankle, and then lightly pulls on my leg. And I relax, and then it just releases the muscles. And uh, he did that, and then he does it with both legs. So he, he <laughs> George went and pulled lightly on both my legs, and something in my lower back popped. And I was like, is that a good pop or a bad pop? And I'm thinking, okay, well, that could have been, it was low down, like, like hip area. So I thought, well, okay, that could have probably fixed what's happening. Nope. It feels better. <laughs> like it's uh, where the other parts was hurting, but it didn't do anything for my hip because he didn't want to pull on both my legs individually because he thought, well, oh, I don't know. So, um, yeah. But, uh, so I'm going to probably be down for a couple days, maybe. I, I'm supposed to work again tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, so that's what's happening with me. Uh, I did get a project finished. Um, it's, I don't have it here with me. I'll see if I can show you in my next video. But I am starting on a tutorial for it. And I, I went to Michael's and I found some cream cotton. I love this stuff. I, I remember when this came out before and it was, I think it was in a cake, wasn't it? But, oh, I, you know what? I was so happy to see this that I actually paid the $9.99 per, per skein. I never do that. Oh. But what are you going to do? So I'm going to do the tutorial. I just started the foundation chain for it. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm hoping to get that out soon. I'm thinking that this is going to be my 12th project collab that I'm doing with Jean um, Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts. Because next month is my month for the project. So, um, if you guys are getting involved in it, uh, just grab some cotton. I think I used about 1400, um, yards on my project under that, but 1400 is probably a good, like, and that's for a two, two X. Okay. So just so you know, kind of get an idea. All right. So, yeah, so get your skeins together. I got, oh, I got another color too. Isn't that pretty? So this color, whoops, this color is, I don't have my glasses. Oh, there they are. Uh, deep teal. Yeah, deep teal. So that's that color. And this color is deep orchid. So I'm thinking I might put these two together. What do you guys think? So, and then I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. So I think I bought five, five balls each, four, four or five balls each. So that should be quite, that's like enough. But if I'm mixing the two colors together, then it should be good. So, and then what else did I get? Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? I went, when Michael's was having his, their big sale, I, I missed the sale. But I did pick up, I found out, <coughs> excuse me, that they have the Premier Home Cotton. I didn't know that. It's like three something a skein here, which is quite a bit for this little amount but um this is 96 yards so but what I did figure out is that this 
is exactly the same cotton as the denim cotton that I was using. Um, for the project that I'm doing right now for the tutorial, the first one I did, I did with my denim cotton that I got from Hirschner's. This is the same stuff, I think. So if you can't get, um, can't get that denim from Hirschner's, go to your lo local Michaels because they've got this. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to stop this for a sec. Here it is. Oh. This is coastal cotton. That's not right. Oh, I thought I had the... Anyway, it's the same. It's it's pretty much the same stuff. So, yeah. If I had enough of the denim, I was going to do another do the tutorial with this, with it. But I don't think I have enough of this. And also, this stuff says that it's recycled. It says, I'm recycled. Right there. It's weird. But yet the other oh, the other premier cotton. Oh, I don't have it here, do I? Oh, no, I don't. Ow. Um, the other premier cotton doesn't say that. So that's weird. It's only this color that says that. Bizarre. So anyway. Okay, guys, I'm going to go, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Um, oh, I did go to my sister's house. I went to my sister's, and I took the movie marquee bags there. She's putting the lining in them, and, uh, and then I'm going to get them back in a week or so. So hopefully I'll have them back in time to do the, uh, the reveal, the last one. I didn't get another bag done. I got too much on the go. So, um, yeah. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to go. I love you all. And thanks for joining me. I will talk to you soon. Bye.